What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Steiger, back again with another video. This is going to be our Footmas Day 3 overview, where I just look over the Footmas cards they released for the day. I'm going to complete the brand new SBC that they just released. And we've got to take a look at the market too, see what the trends are, what's going up, what's going down, if anything. So that's kind of what this thing's going to be about. I want to put this video out earlier, but I forgot the Footmas SBCs come out at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Which is kind of late. If you guys are in Europe, most of you guys are probably asleep by the time it comes out. So, what I'm going to start doing is putting the day's SBC in the next video. So, for this is day three. In the future, I'll put like say day four. We're going to put that on day five's video because they expire at 7 p.m. when the new one comes out. It's kind of late. So, I'm going to start releasing these videos probably around 2 3 p.m. right after the new players release for the Footmas specials. So, uh, look forward to that as this event progresses. But looking at the plays we have today, we have Daniel Rugani. Gonna check him out right quick. Now his requirements are pretty low, 81 team rating, one foot champs team elite player. But his card doesn't look that great, unfortunately. 83 rated card, 64 pace. That's gonna get you killed on the counter attack by Martial and Jesus and Weekend League. So I wouldn't recommend him. Low, medium is a pretty good work rate, but it just his in-game stats don't look that spectacular. I was too clear, Rugani. Hendrik Mkhitaryan, this is probably the big hype player of the day. Unfortunately, he's a right mid. He's not a cam like a lot of people were hoping for. I think that would generate some hype, but as a right mid position, I think there's better options in the Premier League. 86 overall team rating, three foot chance players, team of the week players. That's a very high price to pay for a card like this when there's better options. I was still clear Mkhitaryan, unless you're a huge fan of the player or Manchester United. But I do think he has a good chance of getting to end form. He tends to get at least one every year, if not more than that. So for the guys that are interested in that, it's probably better off waiting on a tradable version of him. The last player I did actually do, he's in my club already. Um, unfortunately, I recorded the SBC of uh, me doing it, but for whatever reason, the audio didn't record, so I was not able to actually get the video. But I do have him in the club. We can check out his stats. It is Julian Draxler. Very good looking card, 6 feet 2, medium low work rates, I'm not that much of a fan, I, I wish it was like a high low, high medium, something like that. Um, but he does have a 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, shooting, passing, dribbling look fantastic, pace gives a little bit of help. The main issue is the stamina, 72 stamina, he's going to get tired on the wing, probably around the 70th or 65th minute, so that can be an issue. But for he was, he was a cheap card to complete though, 83 rated team, I think he needed 1 in form, so that was very easy to do. I managed to do it all with players in my club that I didn't really need, so to get an A6 rated card back in return is a pretty good look for me. I think if nothing else, this card can come in handy in future SBCs. On to our SBC of the day. We have a brand new Footmas Daily SBC. I'm gonna get a Jumbo Gold Pack for it. And for this one, you're gonna need at least six players from the same league, or at maximum. No more than four players from the same nation, at least four gold players, 100 chemistry, and 11 players in the squad. And I don't know why my cam is not in there. I thought I already had one. Yep, this guy. Uh, if I put him in there, it's going to complete the team. It's like a bit of a English championship and a La Liga 2 hybrid with a couple La Liga strikers at the front that get links to each other. But looking at the team, we have Luciano Vieto at striker. 650 coins on the bid. No one's going to outbid you on that card. You can get it for a minimum price. Jonathan Caleri is going to be our other striker, also from La Liga, he's going to get the link to Vieto, as well as a weak link to our cam, Santiago Magellan, who I just picked up for 150 coins. Left center mid is going to be Alejandro Vidma, 150 coins again for him. John Rusty is going to be our center defensive midfielder, probably about 150, 200 coins, shouldn't be that much more than that. Luis Pereira is going to be our right center mid, same price. Right back is going to be Ola Aina. Maybe about 250 to 300 coins. Our right center back is going to be Angus McDonald, E-I-E-I-O. Should not cost more than like 300 coins, 400 coins. Goalkeeper is going to be Karen at Westwood. He should be discard price, probably about 450, 500 coins at the maximum. John Terry, can't stand this guy, but he's going to be left center back. Glad to be getting rid of him. Going to be discard price as well. Maybe a little bit more because he's English and gets the least of some guys. Left back is going to be Ryan Sasingan. It's going to be probably about 500 to 600 coins. And I think I covered him already. So that's the, that's the team. We're going to get the Jumbo pre, uh, jumbo Gold Pack. Not even a premium gold pack, just the regular Jumbo Pack. Not the best, but hopefully we get something decent out of it, though. 
I also have my squad battles rewards to open up, so I'm gonna do all those at the same time. I didn't really do that much on squad battles. I only played today, so I just did the four games plus the challenge squad. But managed to make, I think this is silver one, so it's not that bad. Get some coins and a couple little packs to, to open up. So if you guys don't play squad battles like that, at least play like one or two games on Sunday night and make sure you get those rewards because they're, they're, it's decent, you know, for playing one or two games against, you know, pretty easy AI. I think it's a pretty decent reward. We're going to take a look at these packs. Let's look at the gold pack first. These are notoriously awful. I'm not expecting much from this one. No flare, not even a rare player, no surprise. Gomis, ugh. I think I already have him too. Yeah, he's a duplicate, unfortunately. I don't know why this exists. Why did the Brazil manager leagues even exist? The Brazilian league's not even in the game. That might be the strangest thing. Let's go with a premium gold pack next. I'm gonna save the jumbo gold pack for last. These are probably all gonna be trash though, I'm not gonna lie. So we do get a rare player from this one, Brazilian, Douglas Costa, maybe Tyson, actually he's a pretty decent looking card. If he didn't play in the Ukrainian league, I wouldn't mind trying him out. Let's go with this other premium gold pack. It would be nice if I got a flare, but I'm not really expecting <laughs> these packs. Oh gosh, not even a rare from this one. Rudy's not a bad non-rare pool, not gonna lie. Now, I would like to get a Bruno. He's probably the best non-rare I think in the game at 84 rated. I wonder, is, does Bruno count as a flare? Like, if you get a Bruno as your best pool and like no other rare cards, is he a flare? Like, I want something to do experiment on. I really want to see like what that pack looks like. All right, Jumbo, gold pack for last. Come on, let me get something half decent, please. Russian League, Smolikov. Alright, I guess it's just not gonna be a good at pack opening uh, for me today, but you know, it's not not the end of the world. I pretty much just put like junk players in there to get this. Hopefully, you guys get something better than this once again. I don't know, man. These, these SBCs, these daily SBCs are not treating me well so far. I've not gotten even one player of note as of yet, but we're hoping though. Before we go, I wanna take a look at the marker really quickly. 84 rated players have not gone up at all really. There's still about 4,000 coins. Check out Mustafi, the pretty good indicator. 3.9 even? Like 3.7? Yikes, these guys are going down. 3 is too low. 3.5? There's over a page of Mustafi at 3.5. That's insane. That that means it's people panic selling. What about Cahill? Let's look at Cahill's card. He might be a little bit more with the English links. 3.7, 3.6, wow, again. Just looking at this trend here, there's a lot of penny selling going on. 84 should never be below 4,000 coins in a healthy market. Um, I think this is, <laughs> this is just penny selling. I think a lot of people sort of, you know, predicted with these footbiz cars that 84 is gonna rise. A lot of people invest in these cars. And when the team leaked, when everyone saw what cars are coming out and it turned out to be right, I think people panicked and started selling their cards for lower than they should be selling for, as is evidenced here. And I think some other cards about the same price as well. 83s are going for like 1.3, 1.5, somewhere in that price for, on PlayStation. I'm not sure what Xbox is looking like at the moment. But guys, like don't, don't panic sell your cards just yet. I know it can be tough when you see your cards going down in value, you're losing coins, but I think tomorrow might be a good day. Um, as of right now, it wasn't really much out that people were really going to be hyped about. You know, Rugani's, no one's gonna do Rugani. Draxer's kind of a niche pick and a right mid Mackis area. There's better options for the right mid position in, in the, the Premier League. But tomorrow, Ander Herrera's gonna come out and I think he might generate some hype. Depending on his requirements. If he's like a crazy 86 rated, three inform kind of thing, maybe not. But if he's like two informs, 85 rated, you know, if they, if they could find that sweet spot, I think it's a good chance you see these 84s and 83s and stuff rise. So. Just stay on the lookout for that. Don't panic sell yet, guys. I know it's tempting. You want to get those coins back and stuff, but I'm telling you, it's better off to just wait. If you guys have extra coins to invest, it might not be a bad idea taking a look at some higher rated players. Let's look at Gonzalo Iguain, for example. 90 rated. He's the cheapest 90 rated car in the game. I think he's just under 60k. 59. There we go. So 59,000. 
for a 90 rated player. That's absolutely insane. I think he's going to ride the roof once. You know, one of the bigger players such as Ibrahimovic, Dian Golden especially. Um, especially because, you know, like they kind of require players from that same league um, when you do those SBCs. So if Nine Golden ends up being like a 87 rated team, 88 rated team even, like this car is definitely going to go flying. It's going to be needed for that. Another good one to pick up is Tony Cruz. I think it's about the same price, maybe a little bit more. Um, he's going to be very useful as well when this comes out. Great links, good nation, good league. And 62,000, yep, 62,000 right now is cheapest. You can probably get him for about 60,000 on the bid. And that's just, that's too cheap for a 90 rated player in this game. I know he's not the most useful in, in weekend league and stuff at his pace, but in terms of SBCs, this guy, like, there's not many better players than like Tony Cruz, Gonzalo Higuain, you know, guys like that. 87s to like 88s, 87s. I would look them all up right now, but Tiago, Bonucci, they're gonna be looking at Hamshik right now, it's really cheap. I just, I just picked up a Hamshik yesterday for like 24,000 coins, which is absolutely insane. I remember he was like 70,000 about a month or two ago. So these cars are really dropping significantly. I think it's a great chance to make some investments if you guys have the coins and want to invest in these future uh, Footmas SBCs. I think it's not a bad look right now, and even if they don't go up for this particular event, there's always gonna be some kind of high rated SBC down the line that they will go up for. So I think it's a very safe investment. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. It lets me know that you want to see more content like this in the future. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out stuff like this and investing tips, SBC solutions, player reviews, all kind of good stuff. So you guys want to be there. Make sure you catch that on release. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all tomorrow.